Sunday. Mm -hmm. uh, we wanted to say thank you for all returning viewers. Yes. And um, if you are a new viewer, then welcome. We hope you enjoy this episode. <laughs> um, yeah, so I guess we wanted to get off started really quick and say thank yous. Mm -hmm. And I have one. I have one thank you from a long time ago. Um, these little guys. They're so cute. Faye. Silver Pumpkin on Rav a while ago sent us these and one was supposed to be for Lydia and one was supposed to be for me but we really didn't have the heart to separate them so no. they're together and someday when we have our own little space um, that's not just a space in my house and a space in Lydia's house then we're going to put these on a shelf mm -hmm. were these so cute so <laughs> thank them. you Faye for these we yes, love thank them. you Faye they're so cute they're so cute they are cute so, finished objects. What do you got? Finished objects. I finished my hat! <laughs> I'm so excited. It has to be blocked, but I finished my little mohawk hat. It's so cute! So, yeah. I love it. The little boy I made it for, he is um, six months old. So I made, I didn't make the small size because it was being kind of fiddly. So I made the, it's not really even the medium size, it's like the second small size. But I made that in... My wonderful daughter, Emma, my oldest, she she cut out all my little fringe for me. She's hysterical. We get, like, about halfway, and she's like, am I done yet? No. And then we got to the top. Am I done? Mm, still no. <laughs> so we took... The hat piece is really fast, you guys, if you decide to knit this pattern. The mohawk, you need some definite uninterrupted mohawk time, because it, it's... It takes a long time. Let's just put it that way. But it's all done. So I will give it to her on Tuesday... For her grandson and this is again it's the football widow hat so it's all done yay that's really my only finished object for this week it's super cute though it's cute i like it i'm um, happy with the way it turned out <clears throat> i have i have two fo's yay. so one of my little hearts is done so cute so that one i like i like that one you can kind of see the it's so cute color. um super fast it's it's um, the gnome is where the heart is pattern. There's a little heart pattern in with it. And uh, super cute. Super fast and easy. And I need to make one more. And then I finished my blanket. Um, it's blocked. My ends just aren't woven in yet. So it's really huge. You can kind of see how big it is. And it's all out of scraps. All out of fingering weight scraps that I had. All of them are three Irish girls. And... Um, yeah, I really, I really, 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 really love it a lot. And it's soft and squishy, and you can see the little fun little... So, if you guys need a really fast baby project, I really suggest this one. This mm -hmm. one's fantastic. Um, you kind of can't go wrong. And that four square knot was awesome. Mm -hmm. It made it go so much faster, and um, I can't tell that I even used it in here. I mean, there's a few little spots, but... Um, for a blanket for a blanket it's pretty good so yeah it's pretty highly recommend this pattern I've knit it once out of sport this is my second time knitting it and this time it was out of fingering weight um, 
I knit it on size 3, US size 3 needles. And yeah, so awesome, awesome knit. Mm -hmm. I think it took me less than a week. I love how and bright I started and over. it is. I started once and I ripped it out because I didn't like the color combo. And I started over. So. Did you end up using those colors again? No, they're still caked. Okay, I was going to say, I don't see those. No, it's still in its little cake. <laughs> I just ripped it out and <laughs> was like, yeah. tossed it aside. No thanks. No thank you. So, that's nice. like, yeah. I like it. Yeah, I think I think she'll like it. It'll be good. I think so too. So, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, that's all my finished ones. So, I do have whips. I have this whip. I So, last time I told you guys that um, I was going to be making a baby sweater, the Something Beautiful, and I am not now, um, because the recipient that I was making it for had m mentioned that she really wanted a red and black baby blanket for her car seat, because her car seat's red and black, and she's having a very difficult time finding that particular co color combo, which... It's like ladybugs. Yeah, ladybugs. She loves ladybugs. Um, she loves cherries, so she's really into bright reds. Um, so I am going to make the same spiral blanket that Sarah is making. And I'm making it black and red. Um, so I just cast on like I have, I don't know, I five think minutes. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, five minutes ago I'm on, I don't know, row four maybe. Um, but I'm going to kind of, it's going to be slightly bullseye-ish almost. <laughs> it'll be black and then I'm going to do like red for a few rows and then go back to black and then it'll end up with a black fringe. Um, but I'm doing that. Um, I'm doing mine out of DK weight and I'm doing it on size six. U.S. needles, so size my circulars, my high highs. So that is what I'm doing. That is my first FO, or not FO. Your first whip. My first whip. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Um, I started a new whip just today, and it's the toe <clears throat> of just some cute little. They're just gonna be vanilla socks. I just needed something fun. Fun. Not anything complicated to knit on. Mm -hmm. Um. And this is out of the Kate colorway from Three Irish Girls. And it's a uh, Glenhaven Cash Merino. So it's, uh, oh, I don't, I don't even remember the exact. It's like 10% cashmere and, um, yeah, it's an 80-10-10. So 80% merino, 10% cashmere, and 10% nylon. And it's very dreamy. Mm -hmm. We really love it. Your feet will love it, too. Yeah, my feet, yeah, they'll love it. <laughs> Lot. I have one other pair of my Glen Haven socks, and I wear them when I'm sitting in my chair knitting at night <laughs> downstairs. Nice. They have the socks that you don't wear out in public because nope. they don't want to get them ruined. <laughs> nope. But they're my, they're my, so now I'll have to. Cute. I'll have to sit down there. I love all the fun colors. The yeah. pinks the and apple stuff. green. Mm -hmm. I did this apple green. I love the apple green. Yeah. So that's my first. That's my newest. It's your newest. Okay. Yep. So my second um, is one I actually showed you guys last week, um, but I have more progress on it. Oop. There goes my noodles. Um, I am test knitting Sarah's cowl pattern, the steampunk one that she showed you guys last week. Um, and last week I just had cast on. Um, and I ended up actually having to rip it out because I, because I knit so much tighter than Sarah, I had gone up, um, I think I was doing it on a six? Yeah, yeah I was doing six. it on a size six. Um, but it wasn't creating the dense material in the middle that it was supposed to. So I went down, um, I'm now doing it on fours. Um, I'll get closer so you guys can see, but I've got a few rows now. Um, and I really love the little, I like those little pops. Of yeah. Color. The little pops of color that are happening. So, be nice. and again, that orange border will go away because that's just my provisional cast on. So, so I've gotten a little further on that. Um, I'm really happy with the way it's turning out. I'm liking the pattern. So if you guys haven't knit any of Sarah's patterns, they're very easy to understand. So I like I like her pattern writing style. That's so. good. So that's, yeah. <laughs> and I'm not just saying that because she's my friend and business partner. I really do like knitting her patterns. <laughs> so that's, yeah, that's but good. that's all of my progress this week. I haven't really worked on anything else. So in the knitting form anyway. <laughs> I have a few things. Um, okay, I gotta get all of this stuff out of the way. I'm making a mess. Okay, um, I worked on my Dr. Cockroach socks and I got one done. I got one done! 
So the pooling is hysterical on this sock. It's very cockroachy in effect. <laughs> I, I think love it's hysterical. It. So the back has this um, the brown section, and then there's white, and then there's a purple, and then this cable is the white, and it's so funny to me. I love but it. I'm loving it. I love it very very much. And I did not go up as high as I normally do on these pair of socks. Um, I wanted these ones to be a little a little shorter. I have various lengths of socks. And then so I got that done, and then. I'm just now starting to increase on the heel of this guy, so I'm hoping to have this one done um, before next week Cool. and have those off my list of whips. Hopefully be an FO next week. Nice. So that one, and I've got, um, I did some work on my Serena cardigan. Um, I asked you all to hold me accountable, she and Lydia girl, did, guys. and she totally said, you told them. I did. <laughs> I used you guys. I'm like, you told them you would. You told them you it. would. So, all right, so I somewhat cheated, and I got a sleeve. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, and it's a shorty sleeve. <laughs> I just let him, well, I'm just going to do it. So, um, and I actually really, really like it. I actually like it short sleeve, and I don't have any short sleeve cardigans, so I have a lot of three-quarter Mm -hmm. And I have a lot of longer ones, but I don't have any short ones, so I thought I will do that. So hopefully next week this will also be an FO. That's kind of my game plan. Um, get the other second sleeve done. Very nice. Yes. And moving on. What else do I have on here? Oh, nope. I did two rows on my chickadee cowl. That is really good. <laughs> it's not enough progress for you guys to see anything. Um, and then I started another project. And... I'm going to show it to you because um, in a little bit later you're going to see this because this is actually going to go in the shop. So, so I'm designing a scarf pattern and it's an infinity scarf pattern and one of the sections calls for a skein of self strengthening sock yarn. And so I am doing this really fun um, blue and green because... Our Seattle Seahawks are to Super Bowl. going to the Super Bowl. So exciting, you guys. It's only their second time going, so. It's kind of a good it's, deal. It's kind of exciting for us. It's kind of cool, so. Sorry, my um, phone's making all kinds of noises. <laughs> it's telling us we're talking too much. Um, <laughs> so I cast that on, and um, I, that pattern won't be ready for a long time, but um working on the first section anyways. My thought was I can at least get through the first section. Um, maybe I can at least work on the second section during Super Bowl Sunday, which would be awesome. Mm -hmm. So that is, that is it as far as my whips go. Cool. Yep. That's good progress though. You mean you got, yeah, got a sock done. Yeah. Got a sleeve done. Got a sleeve done. Got a heart done. Got a heart done. Doing so, good. Yeah. You did a lot today or yeah. this week. Um, okay. Let's see. <laughs> okay, so last week we told you guys that we eventually wanted to have an eye, just totally oh oops, <laughs> that. Um, and we had originally figured it would pertain to oh, knitting in general. Um, we want to tell you all about last week's episode. So, okay guys, we recorded last week's episode and... It's it's long. It's very long. It's really long. And unfortunately, it's like long there was, me. yeah, like, there yeah. was, there was still more after that that magically there went into cyberspace. After that. Yeah, our whole shop update that was like forty five minutes. Gone. It's just gone. Like, it it's not there. We don't know what happened to it. Nope. Um, and my poor husband, he's amazing. He does a lot of our technical stuff, mm -hmm. um, so he did all of the editing for our video. Well, yeah. he had to clear off every single thing from his iPad because our video was so long it took so much space and he couldn't house it on his iPad. But we didn't know that at We first. didn't know it. So it was just missing. It, it, we, there, there was no video. And so we got it onto the computer, like our, my actual desktop, but it wouldn't read the file. So we're like, okay, so is our video just gone? Like, I'm in tears. I'm crying. He's frustrated. It's like <laughs> one o'clock on Sunday night. I'm calling Sarah. I'm like, we're going to have to do it. I don't know what's happened. I don't know where the video is. So magically on Monday evening he managed to get it off of the computer back onto his iPad and was able to finish editing yeah. it and we finally got it up on Tuesday <laughs> it was it was such a mess and we know a couple of you have asked about getting it on iTunes we are still working on that we're trying our we're, hardest. we're having it's... still some technical difficulties with that particular video I don't I don't know what's, I don't know 
there's something wrong with that We're video. Just... So, fortunately, we did yes. find the video. It did go up. You guys obviously got to watch it. <laughs> and this week, we we'll hopefully won't won't have that problem. But it was no guarantee. Yeah, it was a mess. It was it was so bad. We were like, did we <laughs> did we seriously just sit up here for two hours for nothing? Because it, it was there's part of it that's still it's, I don't know where it we is. Don't even know it's where gone. It's at. I have no idea what happened to it. Um, so hopefully, like I said, hopefully we've figured out all the kinks and it'll be better. But no, no guarantees. <laughs> you guys didn't know there were kinks because, well, I guess you knew there was one because there was no shop update. Um, but it, it managed to get onto the computer somehow. So hopefully this week it'll it'll all be okay. But yeah, I think it will. Yeah, <laughs> I'm I'm hopeful. I'm being positive. Yeah, me too. Sending good vibes. <laughs> Yes. To the computer. Good, good vibes to the computer. Yeah. So, so this fine. week we will have a shop update. There will be shop stuff yeah. that didn't make it yeah. last time. It'll be small. Yeah. Because, um, yeah, it won't be as long yeah, as it Yeah, it won't be as long. But, but it'll be there. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So that was our we totally screwed that up portion of the week. <laughs> I don't think there was anything else, though, really. I don't think so. Oh no, that's not true. Oh, I remember my my funny little. I put that on the wrong yarn. Mm -hmm. I was dying yes. yarn. Um, that was kind of funny, actually. Yeah, I was dying yarn for the shop, and uh, I was supposed to put it on worsted, right? Yeah. yeah, I was supposed to put these two particular skeins on worsted, and I called Sarah and I'm like, "Yeah, that didn't work. Um, I put them on finger." yarn and she's like oh it's okay I'm like no it's not it's I'm totally I was mad at myself I was really frustrated that I did it and she's like it's not a big deal she's like we'll figure it out but yeah so I did that too so I've had an awesome week of messing things up but whatever that's all right yeah we all have those weeks we do all have those weeks it's good yes it keeps us in check yeah, totally it really does. Us. I think I messed this up too because I have the last stitch that I'm supposed to have See, it's it's a bad week for me. Moving on. Let Sarah talk about her. <laughs> oh, week. oh, that's awesome. Mm. Um, okay, so my princess pranks. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's been a great week for me. Um, my husband and I, we went on a date last night, and we went to the melting pot, Ooh. and yeah, it was so good. And we've been one time before, and we had a gift card, and. Um, some sweet friends of ours gave us a gift card two years ago, and so we went once last year, and then we used up the rest of it this year. Nice. I know, and it's phenomenal, and if you've never been to the Melting Pot, then you need to go, mm -hmm. because the experience is amazing, and we had an awesome, um, we had an awesome server, and he was actually the bartender. <laughs> um, we came in, we got there like 45 minutes early, we're like, can we just sit in the bar, because it had been a long week, and I was like, I just really want a glass of wine, and... Sean wanted um, this a glass of this Otis beer that he really likes, and is that the Huckleberry one? No, no, it's a different one, but it's a darker, a darker beer, mm. and he really likes it. And so, yeah, he was super excited to have that. And so we sat in the bar, <clears> and <throat> then the table that we were supposed to get, the people apparently decided they didn't want to leave, and <laughs> the, the guy comes by and informs us that they were refusing to leave at this point so we had to either stay at the bar or sit in the bar at a booth and either was fine so we did we just sat in a table at a booth in the bar and there was no difference it doesn't it doesn't matter um the right. food's still the same so um whatever <laughs> yeah but i got the cajun one and sean got uh he got the classic um, entree and it's so good. I just, I, yeah, it's Yum. amazing. And then, oh, they had a new dessert option and it was white chocolate brulee. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it was in heaven. And I'm pretty sure that the people sitting on either side of us were really <laughs> wondering what was going on in the booth because, you know, it's like you take a bite and you're like, hmm. <laughs> you're like comatose making noises and what is going on over there and it was that good it was that good so very cool. highly recommend um yeah the white chocolate brulee and they they brulee it right there it's awesome i know they put the little sugar on Jolly. lit it on fire torched it up and it's so much fun to watch i love that it's awesome it was perfect 
So, um, I'm yeah. I'm having technical difficulties over here, guys. Ignore me. <laughs> Watch Sarah. <laughs> I can't get it off my needle. Because <laughs> you need to do it. I do. Oh. <laughs> no, so we did that last night, and then today we had all sorts of plans <laughs> um, to go to church and um, to go see Percy Jackson's Sea of Monsters. We own that movie. Um, but it's still fun to go on the big screen. The yeah. Um, so we were going to go see that with the kids because that was the kid movie for today. And <clears throat> we didn't do those things <laughs> at all. Um, my son, at about 2 o'clock in the morning, decided he wanted um, a glass of this chocolate almond milk that he loves. And it's the only kind he drinks. And I am pretty sure I screwed the lid on right. I think. And he was sitting in bed and he was taking a drink and it went everywhere and it was in his hair and he's oh, just no. in tears and he's a complete wreck and oh, it was like the entire cup. Probably a good 12 ounces. Just oh, everywhere. No. Like, oh my gosh. So we had to get him up and give him a bath at 2 o'clock in the morning and strip down the bed and then of course like the mattress. Um... It, it, there was so much that it actually, like, went through, like, the extra mattress pad that I have on oh, there, no. and it was on the mattress, and so by the time we got all that done, and then he was up and, um, wired, and so <laughs> we didn't get back to sleep until, like, 4 o'clock this morning. Nice. And at that point, I, I said, I am not, we aren't, we aren't going to church. Um, he was crabby at 7 o'clock when he woke up, and we're just done. So. Yeah. <laughs> we stayed home. We stayed home. Yeah. And that was, that was our day, so... It's been a week. Cool. Um, I've had a pretty good week, too. Um, got a lot of stuff done for the shop, which was nice. Yeah. Um, and then yesterday, um, a girlfriend took me out for my birthday. Um, <clears throat> so I got to go and get a pedicure, which was so nice, because I haven't had one in such a long time. Um, and then I got to have my hands dipped in paraffin wax. Oh, my gosh. Knitters need to have this done all the time because my hands are so soft and smooth and usually they're really dry because of, with all the dyeing and then all of the knitting and stuff, like all of the yarn just sucks the moisture out of my hands. So mm -hmm. yeah, my hands are all soft and smooth and I love it. Um, yeah, my toes are all pretty. They're this really pretty like purpley mauve color and she put um, silver sparkles on them. And then my girlfriend, she's a huge Seahawks fan, so she got hers done. They're navy blue, and they have, like, lime green glitter on them. They're pretty cute. Nice! <laughs> They're pretty cute. <laughs> so she has those. Um, and then after that, we went out to dinner um, at a restaurant called Seasons Fresh Grill. Yeah. Ooh. In Coeur d'Alene. It was delicious. It was so yummy. We got um, this stuff is called brat bread. It's, like, flatbread that has, like, it's almost like a BLT on flatbread. With, like, Yum. loads of cheese. Oh, it was so good. Not on my diet. Even slightly. And then, um, yeah. she got, what did she have? Some sort of sandwich that looked incredible. And I had a, like, a grilled chicken club thing that was really good. Um, and then we shared a chocolate, it was called chocolate decadence dessert. It was, like, that, those flourless tort type oh. cakes. Oh. And yeah, so that was a lot of fun, and I didn't get home from that until like nine o'clock. Oh my gosh, you were <laughs> yeah, down a long time. That's a long too. time because I, I left at one thirty. She came pick me up at one thirty. Nice. So yeah, I got that home, and nice which was really break. nice. It was a nice little yeah break for me. Um, and then today we got up and went to church, and it was a funny morning at church. We uh, had um, like I was there was only one baby in the nursery for like a half hour. So I sent both of my helpers away. I'm like, I don't need you guys. It's totally fine. She's like half asleep anyway. Well, like five minutes after they left, here come all the babies. I got the set of twins. I got another little baby. And I wasn't there. And Sarah wasn't there this morning. I'm like, come on my helpers. Fortunately, the young girl who helps out in the nursery, she kept seeing all the babies come in. So she came back. And then one of the other helpers who was supposed to help me, she ended up being really late. She's kind of having a rough morning, so they got there late, and so she came in and helped me, which was great, because I'm like, okay, I went from one baby to, like, seven in, like, five minutes. <laughs> so they all showed up really late today. There was baptisms going on at church this morning, too, so it might have been right. that they and were our, in service. And our children's pastor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, our children's pastor, two of his little girls got yeah. baptized, which was kind of cool. I know, I felt so, really bad that we missed that. Yeah, and I, I'm like, I want to go watch. <laughs> yeah. But, so, that was good, but I'm they were all pretty good in the nursery this morning. It was funny. But on the way out, I was cracking up. 
So my middle daughter, Jillian, she has had a funny week. She's said some of the funniest stuff. We're walking out and she, they got, all the kids at church today got these little like goodie bags for something. I'm not sure why. And in Jillian's goodie bag, there was this little compass. And so she's like walking to the car and she's like, okay, I can tell us which direction we're going. So I looked at her like, okay, well, which direction are we going, Jillian? She goes, we're going straight. <laughs> I was dying. And Joel's like, well, she's right. Technically, we are going straight. It was funny. <laughs> and then earlier, so she lost her first tooth today right before we went to church, which oh, was great. Oh, and she showed me. She's hysterical. He's getting grossed out, which is hysterical to me. But this morning, like, before we're getting ready for church, she comes in and she's, like, wiggling it. And she's like, Daddy, it was all the way down, so I pushed it back where it belongs. It's, like, hanging on by one little piece. And Joel's just like, oh, seriously, just, just pull it, it out. out already. But she wouldn't. She's like, no, I put it back up where it belongs. Oh, that's so gross. You know, she's our dentist lying. was telling sorry, me a guys. story. Um, my daughter had, okay, so, so weird. Off topic, kind of. Um, she had this weird, like bone chip that was like growing mm, out in her mouth and so we took her in and they had to remove it well the way they have to code the paperwork they have to say that they actually physically removed that tooth or else it doesn't make any sense like it, as far as insurance goes well then that tooth like breaks into a million pieces and we had to go and have it actually removed well in the insurance paperwork it says it's, it's already, already been, been removed, removed. <laughs> and they're like you know <clears throat> we have to figure out how to recode this because you can't remove the same, can't tooth, remove twice. The same tooth twice and the doctor, um, the dentist said she's like this has only ever happened as far as paperwork wise goes one other time to me <laughs> and it's when I was um, when I was first starting and she said the little girl we removed her tooth and sent her home with it and then um, she was just apparently devastated that she lost this tooth and so she um, stuck it back in <laughs> and didn't tell her parents. Oh, and her oh, no. started complaining a couple weeks later that it was hurting, hurting, hurting. And they come back in and the dentist was like, well, this doesn't make any sense because I'm pretty sure we removed this tooth already. And it had embedded itself back oh, in. Oh, no. And so now it's, you know, abscessed or whatever. And they have to take it out. And it's all infected. And Yeah. So I would have been so upset with tell her. Yeah, so tell her, do not put that back in. No, she, I have it now, because, you know, the tooth fairy will come. But I just thought it was hysterical. It's seriously, it's like hanging out of her mouth. She's like, I put it, I pushed it back up there, Daddy. <laughs> really? Just take so it gross. out. And my oldest daughter, so like, gross. keeps trying to trick her into letting her take it out. So I'm glad it finally did fall out on its so own, because had it not, I think my oldest daughter was going to just sit on her and pull it out. Oh, so gross. Um, but, I, yeah. I don't do teeth. We just... Sarah gets a little bit out by We just go to the dentist, and our dentist just takes them out. And they are so sweet. They don't charge us for it or anything. It's just, just come on in. We'll take it out. It just takes two seconds. That's good. Because That's I can't, no. <clears throat> can't take it. Yeah. Can't handle it. So. But aside from that, I've had a pretty good... I, I'm getting a little bit of a cold, I think. Um, it's going on so I have, I have this little bit of a scratchy throat stuff going on. But other than that, it's, you know... Me too. Been a fairly good, good week. So, yesterday was a really nice day with my little outing, which was nice. Needed a little... little break. Yeah, a little break. You break every once in a while. Yeah. But, that's been my week. Nothing... Nothing major. So, that's cool. Yeah. That's it. For me. Nice. <clears throat> yeah. I like when we have an uneventful, not too crazy, awful weeks. Me too. Oh, we forgot. So, we were going to tell you guys what sweaters we were doing. I didn't write it down. I didn't write it down either. I can get it. I can pull it It'll up. It'll be in on our iPads. show notes. Yeah. It'll yeah. be in our show notes. Yeah. Or we can show you guys. We did. Too. We did. We finally got our yarn. Pick we out. Have, yeah. We have our yarn. Um, and it's a new base that we're going to yep. test out. Yes. Um, and See if, if we, we like it. Yeah. If we like it, then it'll go up in the shop. Yep. So I'm it's, really a, excited. it's a quarter round. So it's a little loftier than some of our other fingerings Finger that we've had. Mm hmm so I'm curious to, to work with that and Me see too. how that goes. So I'm trying to figure out what color I want to dye it. I've had multiple ideas. Yeah. To go for me. And Sarah's convinced that mine needs to be like a pretty like Concoction. burnt orange, yeah, grayish thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm super excited. I hope she decides to do it. We'll see. I don't. Yeah, I'm. I don't. I'm leaning towards that. Or we've been messing around lately with a lot of like browns and purples. And I did this one skein that has. Oh, it has like the. 
I think it was our like mocha color next to our like plummy color and the transition that happened between the two of them was oh, really pretty. pretty. So I'm kind of I'm kind of playing around with that too. That would be gorgeous. You yeah. should do that. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. That would be really pretty. Yeah. So that's kind of what I'm playing around with. Um, but hopefully next week we'll either have cast on or we'll have the yarn dyed up and we can show you guys that. But at least the yarn hopefully yeah, we will don't. be dyed up. We don't I'm, have them yet. I'm not anticipating that I'll be fully cast <clears> on, <throat> but no. Maybe a little bit. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. I need to get another sock done. Not I, need, sock. I need to get a lot of things done. No, <laughs> I, need to, I have I no progress. I am not. It's not going well for me. But I need to get more things off my needles. My bags are just all full. Like that's kind of a goal. Like get my bags empty again. Yeah. So I can fill them back up. That's one of my goals this year. I, like I, I of course want to finish the projects I'm currently working on, but I. I have so many projects that are in my queue that I've wanted to do forever. I mean, I mentioned that last week and it's like, I just need to do them. Like my husband's been asking me since I learned how to knit, to knit him a sweater every single year. He's like, please knit me a sweater. And he's picked out several <laughs> that he wants. So I really need to make him one this year. So I think after I finish mine, I will. I'm not making my husband a sweater. <laughs> Well, and I've been watching, um, he may never get one in his life. He probably wouldn't wear it anyways, but yeah. Well, and Sarah and I started watching this new podcast. It's the Homespun podcast. And I love it. I love it. They're, yeah. I'm. Well, it used to be it a used day. to be two, and then now it's just a now her. Now it's just a her. Yeah, but, um, Molly, Molly, the one that's still there, she, um, has knit a bunch of pairs of socks for her husband. And she said that before she made them for him, he was like, I'm not going to wear hand knit socks. My husband says the same thing to me. He's like, I won't wear those. But Molly was saying that now that she's made them like, for her need, husband, like, he's more. like, yeah, he's like, I love them. And she's like, they're his favorite. And he's, he's or, always I excited. Need, I need at least yeah. one more. I need at least one more. <laughs> yeah, you've already she's done three. I need at least one more. Um, so I've just decided I'm making my husband a pair of socks because I think he'll like them. I think he would like them too. I bought him this really nice pair of socks for Christmas that had like owls and stuff on them. He wears them all the time. So I bought I, my husband I superhero would... socks for Christmas and he totally made fun of me. And then he won't stop wearing them. And he went to go buy another pack of them and they are only a seasonal thing. Oh, and, and so he's all bummed now. He, well, he was until he hunted them down. He actually like <clears throat> went on the Marvel website. That's awesome. And went on the DC comic website and That's awesome. um, ordered himself you some should, socks. You should knit him a pair of superhero socks. Right? Wouldn't that be the coolest thing in the world? <laughs> that would be awesome. Yeah. So I think, yeah, I think my goal is to finish a lot of the things that my have been in, Superman socks. Yeah, been in my queue for a while, but then also He's to do cute. those things that I've been wanting to do. Like, I want to make him a sweater, so I'm going to make him a sweater, and I want to make him a pair of socks, because I honestly think that he will like them more than he thinks he'll like them. Probably. So, he's going to get a pair of socks. Yes. If he doesn't wear them, I guess I'll wear them. <laughs> so, yeah. It'll be good. Yes. I think it I think would be cute. Yeah, me too. That's what we should do. Totally. That should be like a, a June, at least cast on. Totally. Yes. I agree. Cause then we might not get go. them for Father's Day, but Ooh, that would I'm be at cool least thinking they, of you. They would be cool Never for cute. Father's Day, though. That'd be a good idea. Yeah. Maybe I'll make my husband my Superman, pair of Superman socks. And you could have like a cute little note that said like, the I'll make him a CD and it'll be the Superman song. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm cheesy like that. Like, well, you are, but that's, yeah, that's awesome. So yeah, I think, yeah. Because he makes me CDs all the time. Which we're is so that, cute. We're still that corny couple who does that. So he did, he made me corny. a mixed, I think that's cute. A mixed CD, a new one for my car. Cute. I know, I was really excited when I got in and it was playing. I was like, oh, I got a new one. Yay. See, and I think that's cute. My husband does goose stuff. I mean, remember the pin he made me? Yes. <laughs> a couple of years ago. I don't I don't even know how the conversation got started, but I made some comment about, I don't know, that I was smart or something, but I said, yeah, I'm not just a hot body or I'm not just a, I'm not just a rocking bod. Like that. And so he made me this pin at work that said not just a rock and bod and it's like this little pin pushback pin thing and I wear it. it's on my it's awesome. project thing. I love it. I it just really cracks love it. Me up. I'm like you're kind of a goofball. I like but this. Yeah. I like those the nerdy thing. little things. Yeah, Speaking of nerdy things, um 
So I was chatting, well, okay, first I was listening to Emily's podcast, mm-hmm. Knitting Butterflies, and she was talking about her inner nerdiness mm-hmm. and um, embracing that and letting it come out and having a little nerd along. So maybe my socks would totally fit into that nerd along. I think that's what I'm going to do. So Emily, I'm going to nerd along with you. Yes. Um, <laughs> Make Superman socks. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to make Superman socks for my husband. I love it. Okay. Yeah. I so, want to be there when you open them, because that's going to be great. That's awesome. Oh, I love it. <laughs> funny, but funny. she was talking a lot about, you know, just the image that, like, sometimes it's embarrassing to come out there and think, mm-hmm. this is who I am. I don't think I've really had a hard time doing that, necessarily. But I do have inner <laughs> things that I don't, like, talk about. Like, I've definitely been one of those. Yeah. I don't really care what you think, kind of a thing, but... um Sometimes I refrain from saying enough so that way people won't think I'm weird. So my nerdiness doesn't all come out at once. Oh, I let it seep out. Speaking of Sarah's so nerdiness, we, we promised oh. a few of you oh. that you would get to see her tattoo. <sighs> okay, so you can only see. Okay. Yeah. I will explain right, it. So you can only see one because the other one is. On your shoulder. On my shoulder. And that one's harder to, like, see. But the reason. Okay, so I have to explain my comment because. It's not that Sarah's tattoo is, like, strange or anything. It's just the very first time I ever met her. I will. So the very first time I ever met her, I, I had this, like, view that she was, like, this, like, kind of almost uptight, but not in a bad way. Like, uptight. not... Uptight. Yeah. Tightly wound. <laughs> yeah, like, like, this really prim and proper, like, suburban type mom. Okay? And then she started watching my daughter. And one day, I show up at her house, and she's wearing a pair of shorts, which I've never seen her in before. And I see the tattoo that's on her leg. I was slightly like, that so doesn't fit with the impression I have in my mind. So now she's going to have to show it to you guys, because you're going to have to see it. So she's going to have to put her sock down. All right. I'll show you. And, yeah. It makes me laugh. I I still can't. I don't even know if I can get my... Good thing I shaved you guys. (laughs) That's probably good. I don't even know if I can show you. I have to stand up really high. If you can see it, can you see it? Yeah, you can. Yeah, it's big right there. She has a black it's panther. It's a big panther. It takes up like her entire it does. calf. It takes up my whole calf. <laughs> um, I got it. Shoot, I was working at Players and Spectators, and it was the year after I graduated, and um, I graduated from Mead, so I was a Mead panther. And while that wasn't the reason why I got my tattoo, because I've always wanted a big cat on my leg. Um, <laughs> I know, I sat forever, like, pondering over which one I was going to get, and there was, like, this really awesome snow leopard, and I was like, oh, that one would be really beautiful, too, but I settled for the panther, um, and it's kind of just comical that I graduated (laughs) as a panther, and I'm sporting a panther (laughs) for the rest of my life on my, on my leg. And I do really like her tattoo. It's very pretty. It was just one of those, like, kind of caught me off guard. I'm like, hmm, okay, like, I didn't, I didn't expect it. It was just funny to me. Yeah, so. I do. Well, and I want to. I want to add to it. Like, I don't know. I have lots of ideas. Like, I want to add the whole tree of life in there, and mm-hmm. I want to add my kids in there, and I want to build on it. But I'm trying to not do anything too crazy that my children will be embarrassed by. So, um, yeah. and wait till they're a little older, and then it's not such a big deal. <laughs> it's not a big deal. When I'm not yes. doing, you know, PTA meetings and things like that. <laughs> right. Is <laughs> that crazy? Who is that lady? Yes. Yeah, yeah probably pretty good. And I, when and if I ever take the, <laughs> the plunge of getting mine, I plan to get mine um, right here on my forearm. And it'll be, um, my mom was a gardener. She really loved to garden. Um, and she really liked birds. Um, so I want to get um, a dandelion right here on my arm. And I want it to look like it's blowing away, but I want one of the little seed pods to turn into a bird. And then instead of being a stem on the flower, um, my mom and I used to tell each other that we would love each other until the day after forever. Um, and so, I w- yeah, I want to have the words as the stem. So, and her favorite colors were teal and stuff like that. So it'll be, it'll probably be like teals and grays and stuff. So that'd be awesome. That's, that's kind of what I'm planning, but I have I to get over my fear. My that'd be cool. Point you in the right direction. Yes. <laughs> we have a friend who has the, um, from Lord of the Rings, she has the the, inside. the elven, the elvish writing. It, it says so from cool. To, what is it? What is it to, from there? Yeah, from there and back, there, or from yeah, there and back again. Yeah, there and back again. That's what it says. Yeah, on her foot. It's it's super cool. I love it. I love foot tattoos. I have, my cousin has one, and 
She said it was the most painful spot she's ever had touched. I lot, don't doubt but... it. When there's like a small section on mine where it hits your shin mm -hmm. and it's all bone right there. And mm -hmm. I just remember cringing, going, Duffy, are you almost done? He's like, no. <laughs> He's like, no, I got a long way to go. No. That's I just, funny. I'll shave this part later. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good. Go back to the other section. That's, that doesn't hurt as bad. Right. But he was awesome. Very cool. I remember walking in there the first time. Like, this is such a weird place. <laughs> So Sarah and I both started reading books this yeah. last week. I didn't get very far. I've only gotten to chapter one. Sorry, let me finish this last little stitch here. Just one more stitch, Mom. Other than I totally like messed it up because I only took my part of it. it. When you're all done with that row. You're all done with that row. <laughs> so I love bad. that he says that. When you're all done with that row. Okay. Um, a friend of ours loaned me this book. And, uh... I really love like period romance type books and so she told me she's like you have to read this she's she's not really into those books but she she said after like chapter three she couldn't put this book down so she recommended that I read it and it's called um, A Company of Swans and it's by Eva I can't read her name what are our children doing the floor is like vibrating Eva Job yeah Jabotson, Jabotson. I'm not sure, um, but it's really, it's really good. I'm liking it so far. I, for me, I think I'll be hooked sooner than she was because I, I liked chapter one. So yeah, and I'm using my beautiful bookmark that Jackie made me. I mentioned it last week. It's, um, creams and it's got purple and little, little um, <laughs> little owls and it's got an H for Hogwarts. So I will use that all the time now. But. So it's really good. Um, after I get into it more, I can tell you guys whether or not I recommend reading it. Um, but it's I like it so far. It's good. So hopefully I'll get a little further this week. That would, that would be good. Thanks. Um, I started reading The Divine Comedy again. So I kind of like Dante's Inferno. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I've I've read it twice, at least. This will be the third time. And it's going good. I'm only a few, 30 pages in. There's something about people's, other people's views of what purgatory will be like. Mm -hmm. it's, it's interesting. Intriguing to me. Yes. If we believe um, in purgatory. So. Sarah and I used to host a book club, and there was, I can't even think of, I think it was called Aneology. Mm -hmm. It was a book about angels, but like, so they they were at war with the with demons or something. It sounded like such an interesting book. Yeah, I, I, agree. I want to read it, so I think at some point this year I will have to add that to my list. yes to my list of things to read. Yeah, but um, yeah, that's all I'm doing though. Yeah, it's for me. Yes. Okay, guys. Well, it was kind of a shorter episode yeah. this week. We didn't have as many many things to show you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we do um, we do have shop update and we do also have um, some knit along information yeah. um, so if you're interested in that then stick around if it not, should be there this time yes it should be there if you're not interested then we will see you next time yep. so bye bye see you should I just stick around We have fun stuff to show you guys. Um, <clears throat> the first couple of things we want to show you are from um, our Fire and Ice collection, which will go up on February 4th. Tuesday, February 4th? Yeah, uh, I think so. First Tuesday. The first Tuesday in February. So those will go up. In February. Um, and as promised, Sarah dyed stripes. I did, you guys. And I, you're really lucky that they're making it into... <laughs> The you really shop. want them. Because I kind of love them a lot. So there's three. This one's soft. Yeah, there's one that's um, natural and kind of like a strawberry color. And there's a, I guess you'd call it like almost like a rose red and a strawberry, yeah. which that's the one that. It's called Be Mine. Yeah, I mm -hmm. want it. So Be Mine. I love you. And you're the bomb. Yeah, which is a beautiful like magenta. It's and awesome. Pink and silvery gray. gray. It's pretty. So, so those are going up. And we, so, 
We're calling this collection Fire and Ice because we have a bunch of like really wintry, cool, crisp tone yeah. skeins, and then we have all of the fun like pink Valentine's Day Valentine's passionate Day. skeins that are fun. So yeah, we have a couple of those to show you. <clears throat> so yeah, I just pulled a couple. There's a few. There's quite a few. That yeah, are there's going a up. bunch going up. Mm -hmm. So, but some of them I just kind of fell in love with. Um, and this one I had to show you mainly one because <laughs> it's really pretty and because the name is you're the Obi-Wan for me. <laughs> I love that. I'm sorry. We died laughing when we came up with the we name were back. We were laughing so hard. Just, it stuck. It killed me. I loved it. <laughs> um, so then there's this one. It's you rock Valentine. Mm -hmm. I like that one too. Very Reminds me of Nemo. Totally rock, dude. Totally rock, dude. I love that section of Lilo and Stitch where she puts Stitch's finger on the, the speaker and he opens his mouth and sings the Elvis song and then closes. I love that. It's like my favorite part. This one's <coughs> Trim the Tree. So this is um, part of the more icy side. Mm -hmm. And this one, which I really, really love. Lodge. And the Snow Eels. This one actually was inspired by a picture I saw of this beautiful lodge. I think it's in Montana. It was a picture of this lodge, and, like, the whole backside of the mountain was all lit up with these beautiful, like, purple and blues, and then there was, like, the lights coming off of the lodge, but then the moon was in the sky, and it was, um, it was just beautiful. So, yeah, awesome. I, that's where the inspiration for that came. This one almost didn't make it finish off either. <laughs> this one. We wanted to steal those. Yeah. And then, last but not least, going up to... Um, either this evening or tomorrow yeah. are stripes. stripes in honor of the There's Seahawks. a lot of them, too. There are six of these guys going up. So there's two worsteds, and which is new for us. Platinum. Yeah, first time doing worsted stripes, mm -hmm. which is exciting. Yeah, so they're for our fun Seahawk colors, and we didn't name them that. We have we have a more, I don't know, it's like football name. I think they're something. called football stripes or football something stripes. like that. I don't know. We couldn't name them anything after 12th man <laughs> yeah. or Seahawks. We wanted to name or... them 12th man stripes. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. so, so, yeah. so we have in honor of the 12th man. <clears throat> yes. Um, and then we quickly wanted to talk about a couple of the knit alongs that are coming up. Um, I think the first one is the designer along yeah. um, that's happening in March. Um, so with that, there's a list of, at the top page, at the top section of our group page, there's um, a list of all of the indie designers that you can use. Mm -hmm. um, basically the rules with that are starting in March. Um, you'll be able to purchase yarn from the Anaya at the Met collection. Um, and then you can knit any pattern you want by any one of those designers. Um, and Sarah's actually one of those. Um, using a skein from the Broadway collection. And in the Broadway collection, um, we don't have any heavyweights. They're all fingering weights. But we do, we are introducing a new base. Um, and it has a ton of yardage, you guys. It's, it's so awesome. It's like 600 and yeah, over 600 like, you yards. You could totally make one of those anesthetics featherweight yeah. cardigans. So it's like yeah, a small it's, size. Yeah, so we are introducing a new base um, and lots of fun colors. Um, those skeins are all based off of some of our favorite uh, Broadway plays and some that have been here in Spokane. Locally in Spokane. Um, they've made it here. Yeah, so those will be a lot of fun. And then in, I believe it's May. Um, we're going to do the uh, magic cake um, yeah. swap and knit along. And basically with that, there's three different categories that you can be in for that. Mm -hmm. um, so we're calling it our our cake walk because it kind of makes us think of like the crosswalk, you know, yellow, green, red. There's like, you know, three different categories. So group one will be, um, you will get to be... There will probably be like 10 or 15 people in that group, and you will break um, a skein or several different skeins up into mini skeins, um, either 10 or 15, depending on how many, and you will swap your 15 or 10 skeins with the other people in the group. So once you've got your 10 skeins all into little skeins, you will send them to Sarah and I, and then we will send them all out. And once you get your skeins, you'll get to make that shawl with the skeins that you got in the swap. Um, so that's group one. Group two will be people who want to knit the magic cake swap with their own yarn and then, or the magic cake shawl, sorry, with their own yarn and then swap it with someone else. Mm -hmm. So if Sarah and I were doing it, we would be paired up together 
Um, she would knit one, I would knit one, I would give her mine, she would give me hers. Mm -hmm. So that'll be group two. And then group three will be for anyone who wants to knit the shawl, but doesn't want to have to swap either the mini skeins or the shawl. You just want to make your own. Um, so they'll be, yourself. yeah, so there will be three groups. Um, there will be little prize giveaways for those. They won't be as big or as intense um, as with the Harry Potter one. Um, but you will get some fun little it's things. Little. So we do have that. And then I think that was, oh no, no. Sarah has one she's really excited about. She wants to tell you guys about. So what? It's the, um, I was thinking right. of something else, obviously. Oh, which one? The read along knit along. Yes. Okay. We'll talk one. about the read along. <clears throat> I am excited about that. That wasn't what she was. <gasps> no, I know what she wants to tell you guys. I totally forgot no. all about it. But we'll talk about the read along knit along first. Yes. Um, I yeah, I'm that. excited about that. So we're going to basically, as a group, um, choose a book. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to dye up some fun yarn inspired by the cover and mm -hmm. the author. So we'll have a variegated colorway, and that one will look um, like the book cover. Mm -hmm. And then um, a semi-solid to go with it, and that one will be after the author. And then we're going to pick a pattern. And um, we're going to have little, you can either buy the yarn all by itself, or you can buy the um, you can buy one skein or both skeins or um, we are even hoping to partner up with Jackie and do some bags possibly. Yes. Um, it's not a for sure for sure yet, so don't hold us to that. Yeah. Um, but but you'll get to start pre-ordering those probably so in. If that's a possibility, then we're hoping that in March we yeah. would start pre-ordering and and so. That way I can have everything dyed up in April and sent out that last week of April mm -hmm. so you can get it to start in May. Right. And right now so. it looks like the book that we're probably going to read for the first one is The Last Bridge. Um, because we asked a couple of weeks ago, we asked you guys, um, like, your opinion on mm -hmm. the three books that we had included. And most of you have voted to read or that yeah. you would read The like Last Bridge. Quite a large amount. Yes, and that's by Terry Coyne, um, mm -hmm. so we will probably be doing that book. Yeah, um, most likely that'll be yeah, the one. Be I, I'm probably going to say that we'll probably take that poll down um, soon by, by Valentine's Day. Yeah, and then, so, and then pre-orders and stuff will start going up. Soon. Yeah. And you guys will get to see what the yard looks like first. Yeah. Yeah. I'll dye up some before so you can see it. Before it goes up. Yes. But... So we actually have huge news. Huge, huge news, which is so exciting. Do you want to tell? Do you want me to tell? You can go ahead. <laughs> okay. Um, our local yarn store, one of our local yarn stores that we supply to, a Grand Yarn, um, they are going to Vogue Knitting Live in Seattle. Seattle. And the coolest part is we are going to get to be um, a feature in their shop, in their little booth and so um it's really exciting, it's so exciting you guys. and um they've asked for some specific colorways so we're dying up some special vogue mm -hmm. knitting live seattle colorways for them mm -hmm. um to take with them and then we decided i think we're gonna go so we did we bought some tickets we did and we're gonna do a meet and greet we don't know what day yet yeah probably and we don't saturday know what time. um we still have to work out those Details with details with Libby and Nancy. But we'll but be there. So if yes. you guys are going, hunt us down. We will yes. be at the A Grand Yarn booth. We will. Um, hanging out and chatting and mm -hmm. yeah, it always it's so much so fun. Exciting. I'm so excited. I can't wait to go Road and trip. just yeah, <laughs> totally. Road trip, which will be great because oh, the kids are staying here. Well, so well, all but my all, oldest because yeah, yeah. we just got her soccer <laughs> schedule <coughs> and um. Her, she will have two games in Seattle. That same weekend. That same but, weekend. But that's it okay. works out good. Yeah, so. so, but we, yes, we will be there, like Sarah said. We will be doing a meet and greet um, sometime probably on Saturday. Yep. Um, but we do, our yarn will be at the, the marketplace time. the whole time. Yeah. Um, and we will be there most of the day Saturday. Yeah. So, it's kind so of if you guys are in the way. area, you should stop by. Come see us. Or if you guys have been thinking about going, you should totally and go. And we're, we're going to try and have something fun. So if you do come see us, then we'll have something fun to give you yeah. at the booth. Yes. A little token something. Yeah. So, so. We haven't figured out what it'll be yet. No. So hopefully we'll get to see some of you there. But I think that's it for the shop update this week, guys. Um, like I said, the stripes will be going up probably either this evening or tomorrow and be ready to yep. order. And then the Fire and Ice collection goes up the first Tuesday in February. So... 
that's it. Yeah, that's okay. it. Bye, guys. Bye.